for South Carolina's Comptroller General to be removed from office following a $4 billion accounting mistake. We start this half hour at the State House. That was the focus of discussion among senators today following a months long investigation into his office and a misstatement of cash on the state's financial reports. Yeah, let's check in with News 19's Nate Stanley, who has been investigating from the State House all day. Nate. Darcy, Andrea, I'm holding this 81 page document. You can count them all there. This was given to senators today from the special subcommittee. The chairman of that subcommittee, Senator Grooms, says it highlights the timeline for what he's calling the largest accounting mistake in the state's history. Now he and his colleagues are calling for the Comptroller General's resignation. In the history of accounting errors, this is probably one of the largest, if not the largest accounting error. A lot of people depend on the accuracy of this report. Harsh criticism coming from Senator Grooms Wednesday afternoon as the Senate Constitutional Subcommittee presented its findings of its investigation into the 2022 Annual Comprehensive Financial Report Restatement. This all stems from a correction that was made to the state's financial reports after the Comptroller General told lawmakers in February that his office misstated South Carolina's cash position by $3.5 billion. This was a result of money for colleges and universities being double counted on his financial reports. He double counted money. Monies came in and, and was never accounted for when it went back out. After three subcommittee meetings and two testimonies from Ekstrom, the result was an 80-page document highlighting those findings. Inside the pages, internal emails from the Comptroller General shows his office discussing the mistake and how to make it public. Additional notes from lawmakers claim there were material weaknesses within the office and financial reporting was inaccurate to prevent misstatements. Those claims that were also supported by testimony from state auditors and the Treasurer's office. Every one of them let us know that the problem lies with the Comptroller General's office. The Comptroller General let us all know under oath that the problem is not him, the problem is everybody else. The Grooms then took things a step further and said Ekstrom should be out of office, either via impeachment or by removal under Article 15, Section 3 of the state's Constitution, which grants legislators that right to remove an elected official if they neglect their duties. The House has introduced articles of impeachment. I don't believe criminal activity occurred. I believe there was willful neglect of duty. I think we demonstrated that. So, so senators heard that. They also were given this today. Now there's no timeline as to when they're going to get back and have a vote for their resignation. I'm told it's gonna to take a hard two thirds vote to get that resignation. We also reached out to Ekstrom's office in a statement this afternoon. They said that he disagrees with the findings. Also, he says that he supports the restructure of state government if it benefits the people, as well as saying that he supports and will advocate for his position, the Comptroller General position, to be an appointed position, which is something that senators were also arguing in favor of today. We're gonna keep you updated moving forward. From the State House, I'm Nate Stanley for News 19 WLTX. Thank <music> you.